Eva Marie. Okay, um... She has looks? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know what to say about Eva Marie. She's, she has looks? She's on Total Divas? She's a model? No, I'm seriously stumping what to say. Like, um, I've been hearing word that she's been um, preparing to train herself. She wants to be the next uh, Divas, ch Divas champion, but right now she's in NXT and in the Performance Center constantly training. And I'm like, yeah, you, yeah, you're finally stepping up, trying to prove that you can be a wrestler and not a model, not this great looks girl. And I've been hearing that everybody's been pushing her to be the next big diva. And my question is, um, don't you want to test the waters before you throw in the sharks? Like, I know La I know they replaced Lana as they replaced her with Lana, and Lana wasn't really isn't really a wrestler. She, I've never seen her wrestle. Th that's a problem. But Eva Marie, she's just now starting to improve her work and her st wrestling style. So, like, can you not throw her in the Sharks until you let her test out her wrestling abilities? She's just recently started improving. Um, I haven't really kept track on her on, on Total Divas. I don't watch the show. But Eva Marie has potential, I think, if she can, if she has a commitment. I mean, like, they paint her as the next top Diva. They paint her as the next Divas champion. There were rumors at the time that they might do Eva Marie versus Nikki Bella at SummerSlam. Though, obviously, plans have been scrapped for that since there wasn't, since I'm pretty sure the deadline wasn't fulfilled. And I don't really, like, hate Eva Marie. I don't really hate her. I'm like, I know she just took this opportunity. Like, she's a model and she's being told, hey, you want to be on this big epic reality show by the WWE? And that coincidentally had to come with also being a wrestler. So and so when I saw her match with Bailey on NXT one time, I was like, oh my god, that is the worst match, Divas match women's wrestling match I've ever seen on NXT. And I've seen a bunch of matches. And I and while I just say, yeah, her performance was bad, she should still be training in the performance center and not really be on NXT for a bit. I was hearing that fans were chanting for her blood pretty much and were saying hateful things and I heard that she broke down crying and I generally felt sorry for her. So she's the most sympathetic diva we have on the on the WWE right now. Like here's this girl that here's this woman that is that got this opportunity. She's not really a wrestler, she's a model. She took the opportunity to be on the reality show. I didn't I don't think she ever pictured herself being a wrestler. In the WWE, she just wanted to be this reality star, but then this wrestling thing came up, and now she started thinking about it. And yeah, I generally did feel sorry for her for her for the hate she got. Like, and hearing her, she broke down crying, I was yeah, that's kind of cruel for the fans to to mock about. But like Eva Marie, I been lately seeing her she's trying to improve she's trying lately to be the next big thing uh WWE has a lot to test with her not throw her in the sharks yet and i certainly and i really do think she might be able to come up with a fair amount of talent though most likely not to survive from any proper direction but really a lot of the performers kind of are talented but yet are not given proper direction because the WWE management is the most dysfunctional system I've ever seen and the YouTube copyright ID system still busted so let's not get into that this was Neo Reality on Tina feel free to like comment subscribe and donate and stay tuned for more